New at five after a pandemic pause. We know Chicago's air and water show is back. And as Rob talked about, a little touch and go today thanks to some of that on and off rain. But as CBS 2 Charday Gray tells us, diehard fans still weather the storm. The Air and Water Show has been around for more than 60 years, bringing out thousands of people, and today is no exception. After restrictions last year, onlookers are excited to see more faces. Rain or shine, thousands of people watch the 2022 Chicago Air and Water Show. This year's awesome. It's like you can totally tell the full show's back again. Well, I just like them because they're super fast and stuff. Many people either stay dry at castaways or dodging raindrops with their umbrellas, like Laura Pachuca and Rick Coddington, who met at the air show 21 years ago. It's kind of a tradition for us to kind of be together and, and enjoy this and, and remember, you know, the first time we met. So. <laughs> <laughs> the jets take off from Gary International Airport in northwest Indiana, then fly north along the lakefront to North Avenue Beach before returning to Gary. Rain delays push back one of the most anticipated acts, the Blue Angels, from their scheduled time, but the show went on as the skies cleared up. But not for long. They were only able to do three passes due to the weather. It rained on us. I left the umbrella in the car, but hey, we had a towel and we're just going to sit through it no matter what. Eyes, phones, and cameras stayed to the sky Saturday. Bob Broden was an Air Force fighter pilot in the Vietnam period flying in Cambodia and stationed in Thailand. Getting some shots of the different planes is great because these new airplanes, especially this one right here, the F-22, can do things that we couldn't dream about back in the day of the F-4. James Williams is a former aircraft inspector. Well, I worked on all these F-16, the F-21, the F-18, and it's just good to see them fly. That's the, that's the sound of freedom. The show continues tomorrow here at North Avenue Beach with the same times as today from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Reporting at North Avenue Beach, Charday Gray, CBS 2 News.